everyone, I'm just going to show you today a couple of techniques using stencil paint from Imagination Crafts. As you can see, I've already got started. I have taped down with pressure tape the Imagination Crafts floral stencil onto a piece of white 6x6 card. And I've started to apply the paint in two different ways. One of the ways is taking a bit of the paint with my stencil brush and then starting to dab it onto the mat before taking it over to the stencil and dabbing through the stencil. Now in some areas I've just gone over once and that's just to get a nice light effect and in other areas I've gone over two or three times to get a real depth of colour. Over on the other side I have experimented with the paint and because it's a thick consistency I just wondered if it could be applied similarly to how sparkle medium is. So I've taken my palette knife taken just a tiny amount of the paint and started to spread it through the stencil with the flat of the palette knife. Now anyone that's familiar with the sparkle medium will know exactly what I mean in terms of applying the, the paint because this is exactly how you do it when you're using sparkle medium. Okay, so I've just spread it on there. And as you can see, already there's a completely different effect that you're getting. And now hopefully, when I reveal it, you will be able to see the two different effects and textures that you get by applying it in these two different ways. And this is the benefit of stencil paint. It's a gorgeously thick texture, it's a gorgeous thick consistency, and it allows you to, to get different effects by applying it in different ways. Now, I'm going to leave that top piece on like a hinge, because then if I'm worried, I can always flip back the stencil and go back over again. But this piece is purely for experimenting and showing you the two different effects you can get. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. On this side here, I've got a more 3D thick effect by applying it with the palette knife. And on this effect, on this side here, I've got a completely different effect. I've got the really light stippling effect where I've gone over it once, and then I've got the darker stippling effect where I've gone over it a couple of times. Now hopefully, the camera has picked that up enough for you, but if not, I will take some close-up photos and I will upload those to my social media accounts as well. But hopefully that's given you an idea of the different ways in which you can use this stencil paint from Imagination Crafts. If you've got any other questions or you want to see different videos of how you can use this paint, just give me a shout. Thanks for watching.